Hi everybody, Jason the Vane Guy here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a memory upgrade on the computer that we use for editing all of our videos. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, Jason the Van Guy here. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to be performing a memory upgrade on our Acer all-in-one computer. And we're going to be the memory we're going to be using is from crucial.com. Uh, if you could just go to crucial.com, you can put in your computer or it actually has a, a scan feature where it will scan your computer and tell you what memory is uh, compatible with your computer. We're going to upgrade ours to 16 gigabytes. Currently, I believe it has four or six, so 16 is going to be quite a, a, an improvement. So, as with most all-in-ones, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's a series of screws, they're Phillips heads, that run here and here, and all you have to do is take out those screws and then lift the back off, and then that will reveal, um, reveal the inside of the computer. And you'll see this is actually very, very easy to do and uh, relatively quick as well. So we'll get started. Now, I don't use an electric drill for this kind of work because you really wanna be careful not to strip these screws out. And it's pretty easy because a lot of this housing is aluminum, so it's easy to strip the screws. So just to avoid any issues with stripping screws, I generally will just take it out with a hand screwdriver. So there's one there. That doesn't look like one there. So it looks like just two on this section. Okay, so now with all the screws removed, we just use a little tool just to kind of get this started moving. And now we're going to take this off. It's probably gonna be dirty underneath here. Actually, not too bad. So the cooling fan's done a pretty good job of moving all of our uh, dust out of there. So again, here's our uh, our notebook style memory. You see the size of these matches the size that's over here. These are our memory chips, um, and this is our hard drive. Now, if I was going to replace the hard drive, it's pretty easy. I just remove these couple of screws right here, pop this one out, pop a new one in. This one is actually a one terabyte SSD drive, so I don't really need to replace it. You're gonna see these little tabs right here to the side of the memory, memory boards. And see how I just slid those to the side and it just kind of popped forward, just popped straight up. So that's all there is to that. And then this just slides right out. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna set it right here and that's just so I can first try orient my my new um, <clears throat> new memory chips in the correct orientation without having to worry about which direction they go. So this is a four gigabyte chip and looks a little different from the other one. This one is a two gigabyte chip. So we're upgrading from six gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. Now I'm gonna open my my memory chips here. And like I said, I didn't have to spend a whole lot of time selecting these. I went to the Crucial website at www.crucial.com. And at that website, it just ran a scan and it told me all the products that they carry that are compatible with my machine. They also have instructions for how to do this. Um, but you can see that these are the same, same relative size and shape as the chips that are on there. That, I mean, I'm sorry, that came from the computer. So I'm just gonna pull one of these out. We're gonna start with the bottom one first. And notice my orientation from my old chips is with the small section here to this side. So I'm just gonna put it back in. 
in the same orientation and you notice there's a little tiny notch there. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not, but that little tiny notch matches up and then we just quite simply just give it a little tiny snug down and it just pops into place. So I'm going to repeat that with the other one. I can get it out of the package. There we go. Again, we're going to orient it the same way that we have this one oriented. And on this memory upgrade, it's a little easier than a lot of them. It's easier to tell which direction it is. Sometimes this little notch is not visible. So on a different computer, that orientation might be a little bit more important. And then that one just snuck down. So the next step is to just go ahead and put everything back together again, screw everything back down, and then we will give it a shot. We will try it out and make sure that it works. One important thing to mention about assembly is, first of all, don't force anything. Don't jam anything in. Um, and the other is, you see that I've only put the screw in far enough to hold it. I'm gonna put all the screws in a little bit and then come back and tighten them all up once they're all in place. That just prevents you from moving this around in one direction or the other, making it difficult to put the rest of the screws back in. Well, everything appears to be working smoothly. We've put everything back together, plugged everything back in, and uh, I've started Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a, a very memory intensive program. And you can see I'm using it on two screens. And I'm getting better performance, so a successful 16 gigabyte memory upgrade. We purchased our memory through Crucial.com, but you can also find it on Amazon. The advantage of Crucial.com is that the, you can run a diagnostic on your machine and it will tell you exactly what memory as well as hard drives are available for you, your particular computer. There's also more how-tos and more information on how to select the correct memory. This particular memory was a 16 gigabyte kit. It was made up of two eight gigabyte sticks and worked perfectly in, in our computer. Uh, it's, it's flawless and uh, it's actually a little bit faster. Um, this is the DDR3L and ours was a DDR2. So a little bit better memory. Uh, like I said, this is around $80. Thanks for stopping by. I put links to all the equipment that we talked about today in the description. If you follow those links, it'll take you to Amazon. And if you purchase through those links, then a small portion of your purchase comes back to us and helps support our channel. And that's of course of no cost to you. If you like this video, comment down below and hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to be notified of our future videos, hit the bell icon. My name is Jason McLeod. I am Jason the Vane Guy. And I'm reminding you to do something good for your legs today.